been a thorn in this institution's side for the past nine years, not including the six months he spent in the brig. Oh, by the way, I never got my meal deduction for that. I'll get right to the point. After this latest incident, we want him out of the academy immediately. You can't throw my kid out. My wife has been breaking her back for years to keep him in this hellhole. I'm so sorry for her in many ways. However, the boy is still expelled. Wally! Do something legalish. Um, General McBatten, um, I'm the um, Haskell's attorney, and um, you have a binding contract with them. <clears throat> you are uh, obligated to educate Bomber, uh, Cadet Haskell, until his 18th birthday. Sir, up until now, we have put up with his cheating, blackmailing, and unauthorized experiments in chemical warfare. He did all that? This is a military academy, not a cooking school. Yes, but we cannot tolerate him endangering his fellow cadets. Why not? I pay good money, especially to keep him here over the holidays. Tell her, Wally. Um, yeah, General, I think we may be exaggerating here. It's not like the boy has killed anybody. <laughs> has he? Sir, he firebombed the officer's quarters. How dare you slander my son? Where's the evidence? We have 12 cadets who witnessed your son purchasing the detonator. My son's quite the hobbyist. Maybe he was building a crystal radio. Well, do something, Clyde. Uh, General, you're not thinking of taking legal action, are you? Isn't it wonderful? We'll be a normal family again. Define normal. Mom? 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 Mom! Palmer, you're so tall. And your powder burns heal beautifully. Hey, bro. Hey. Jeez, what's this? <laughs> hey, come here. Let me show you our room. Maybe this time Dad will even get you a mattress. You mean I'm sleeping in the house? Oh, Eddie, I'm so happy we're all together again. Oh, yeah. A real special moment. I'm gonna grab a beer down at the Boom Boom Room. Eddie, I just made a huge dinner. Yeah, and that's why you're gonna end up with a huge butt. You got any money? Can we at least have one meal together? Don't sweat it. It might take weeks to find another school stupid enough to take him. You can't send him away again. Well, sure I can. In fact, I've already made preliminary inquiries into the Conservation Corps. He'll learn how to clear dangerous trails and look out for falling rocks. No, Eddie. Oh, please don't send him away again. I hardly know him. Believe me, Kurt, I just spent four hours with him. You're not missing much. Maybe you're forgetting something. Freddie will be leaving for college soon. Won't you miss having a son to clip your nails, strain your orange juice, break in your new shoes? There you go. Playing on my soft heart again. So he can stay? You better warn him. One slip up, he'll be in Montana sucking snake venom from guys named Clem. Good morning, Mr. Cleaver. Bomber, I haven't seen you since you pushed Oliver down the well. Uh, youthful mischief, sir. Uh, so, is young Oliver at home? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe she'd come back in about a year. Well, hello, Bomber. Hello. Welcome home. Thank you, Mrs. Cleaver. 
No homecoming would be complete without your sunny smile. And might I add, you've aged rather well. Well, thank you. And that dress is quite becoming. Oh, and your legs. Palmer, please. You've been at a boy's school far too long. Mom, I gotta warn you that Farmer Haskell is in the house. That's right. I'm here to renew my friendship with young Oliver. And if you promise to behave yourself, I'll let him know you're here. I'm watching you. <laughs> Oliver, Farmer's here to see you. Yes? Been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, that's nice. You know, I was afraid that you might. Oliver, wait. Come on, put those down. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Grandma, he pushed me down a well. Oh, Oliver. He's been away so long, he doesn't know anyone. Couldn't you find it in your heart to show him around, introduce him to your friends? Not if I want to keep any of them. I know you're just kidding. Farmer, come on up. You're such a good boy, Oliver. I'm a sucker. Hey, Cleaver, Halloween's over. You can take off your mask. <laughs> Look, Farmer, the only reason I'm being nice to you is because my grandmother told me to. Well, then, I guess you wouldn't want this. Wow, a hand grenade. Now, this almost looks real. It is real. It's not going to go off, is it? No. Not unless you pull this little pin. <laughs> you call this making a bed? <laughs> you wouldn't have lasted five minutes in military school. You know, Oliver, we're going to be going to school together, so give me all the lowdown. Well, let's see. Spencer just got his tonsils out, and we have a pretty good baseball team this year. Oh, yeah. We just sold enough Rice Krispie treats to get that drinking fountain. It's a class gift. Oh, I don't know if I can take the excitement. What I want to know is who do you buy the test from, and which girls already have their reputations? Well, I hear that Peggy Killer smoked a cigarette. No kidding. Without a filter? Come on, Oliver. Let's get out of here. Hi, Kelly. Aren't you the picture of budding beauty? So, how's everything with you and your darling Duffy? That was over a long time ago. His loss. My gain. So, what do you say we go into the alley and make out? Go sit on a smoke bomb. Anything with you, baby. Hey, they're playing our song. Let's dance, babe. This is the greatest. Dirt guy girls with their hot tempers. I'm gonna love civilian life. Palmer, the girl just said if you were on fire, she wouldn't spit on you. Hey, Sam, the best horses are the ones that take the longest to break. So, what do you say we swing by the video arcade and shake down some third graders? Oh, that sounds great. But I'm not supposed to have that much fun in one day. I'll see you. But yeah, Cleaver, you go lie down. I'll have to blow these off myself. takes an entire can of vegetable soup and dumps it over the railing. You should have seen the people scatter. You know, Squirt, you got more guts than I gave you credit for. Hey, thanks. Well, look, I'll see you later. You know, Bomber, you're not as big a creep as I remember. <laughs> Same to you, bud. Thanks. Hey, you think you could get me some more of those firecrackers? Uh, I don't know, but I happen to have this. Whoa, a rocket. You're sharp today. Wait a minute, you can't light that off out here. Hey, cool it, Clyde. It's gone in a flash. These things travel at twice the speed of light. Really? Of course not, stupid. So much for public education. <laughs>
I'll be back in a couple hours, honey. What are you doing? Well, I figured with all this construction going on, I'd get Grandmother's crystal out of the way. Oh, that's a good idea. Ow! Oh! See ya. On Saturday, May the 7th, 1892, in a paddock known as Victoria Park, an assemblage of 10,000 gathered to see Carlton defeat Collingwood. Live Thursday night, will history repeat itself? There's three of the game's legends for the classic style of commentary. Up gully. Lou Richards. Hit the boundary line. Ted Whitten. I tip this. And Mike Williamson. It'll be far less gentlemanly than the encounter 100 years ago. Collingwood and Carlton, live Thursday night. You know I'm waiting, just anticipating Things I may never possess But while I'm without them Try a little tenderness Try a little tenderness Bounty, the taste of paradise Introducing Beethoven, the movie star, who's cuddly and cute, but grows and grows and grows. Play the Beethoven game, call 0055 and you could win a full-size Beethoven toy or one of ten toy puppies. As well as a 224 family pack, here's another great value way to buy Kleenex quality. A new family pack with 275. 274. Uh, 273. 272. 271. 270. 269. 260. Pop into Kmart before Mother's Day and you'll find chrysanthemums in full bloom for $3.45. Fleecy lambs or boots for $26. Double brush dressing gowns for $34. And Palsonic remote colour tellies for $299. Special gifts from Kmart to make Mother's Day really special. Top performance demands top nutrition. That's why the Australian Institute of Sport and Kellogg developed Sustain. One last effort, Rob. A scientific balance of delicious grains, fruit and nuts. Complex carbohydrates, fibre, protein, vitamins and minerals. Controlled sugar, low fat and low salt. The fuel for lasting energy and better performance. Nice work. Kellogg Sustain keeps the energy in your day longer. Yes, Mary Ellen. Of course I share your sense of loss. I've got seven calls into my insurance agent. Yeah. As soon as I hang up from you, I'm going to personally drag that scoundrel over to your house. Okay. Fat chance. Sir, how's this? Son, this shirt is like a fine automobile. When you paint a Rolls Royce, you remove the chrome. When you iron imported fabric, you remove the buttons. Then you sew them back on. So that'll take hours. Perfect. I don't need it until eight. Hold it. <laughs> Feeding him again. What are we running here, a bed and breakfast? Eddie, you can't keep him locked up forever. He's beginning to hear voices. And he's beginning to show signs of scurvy. <laughs> I guess it's time to give the kid an airing. Okay, Freddy, go get the little arsonist. <laughs> Eddie, he needs more than just bread and water. Kurt, you're weak. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bomber, if you spent the last few days thinking over the terrible thing that you've done. Yes, sir. I promise never to play with fireworks again. They're very dangerous. Who cares about that? I'm the one that got stuck having to listen to those whining cleavers. I'm sure Bomber has learned his lesson. Now can he take a nice, long, hot shower? Take him out in the yard and hose him down. <laughs> Sir, the Geneva Convention requires that all prisoners must be provided with minimum sanitary conditions. I'm not a signatory to that agreement. Now, I warned you, one mess up and you'd be on your way to the Conservation Corps. But I've changed my mind. A thousand thank you, sir. Instead, I've enrolled you in Friar Felipe's monastery. 
Is that the Montessori school on Birch Street? Try a 14th century castle in the French Alps. Here's your new uniform. Nice belt, huh? Sir, what's Bomber gonna do in a monastery? All the usual things kids do in a strict religious order that somehow survived for 700 years without a single modern convenience. But, sir, can't you think of some other punishment for me? Why do you think of this as punishment? Think of it as a learning experience. The good brothers will help you get in touch with your spiritual self. And if not, at least you'll gain the rewards that come from helping in their leper colony. Sir, as much as Bomber enjoys helping the less fortunate, isn't it awfully far away? I mean, who knows when I'll ever see him again? Why don't we start a fool? I say 30 years. <laughs> Here, take these. Each bead is good for a 10-pound sack of rice. Sir, I must protest. Bomber's my own flesh and blood. I can't just stand here and watch him being shipped off alone. Well... If you feel that strongly about it... I'll get his things. Holly, quit complaining. So you were grounded for a week. Big deal. You never do anything anyway. At least Bomber got his. How can you say that? They're sending him to a monastery. You know, with any luck, it's one of those orders that believe in whipping themselves. <laughs> Keep them coming. Hey, moron. What's the big idea leaving me holding the bag? Hey, it's my military training. In battle, you never stop to pick up the dead. Well, that's great. You know what? I'm glad you're gonna be stuck the rest of your life with a bunch of guys in long dresses. We prefer to call them ecclesiastical robes. Bomber, you have to admit, you brought it on yourself. It's the same old story. Us vets have always had trouble adjusting to civilian life. Obviously. But even a creep like you doesn't deserve what you're getting. Hey, it's gonna be cool. The monastery is in the Alps. I'm here 20 miles off the goat trail, and I'm in Gestad, playground of the rich. Yeah, well, that sounds like fun. But if it were up to me, I'd rather just stay in Mayfield. Me too. All those years at the academy, I'd lie in my bunk after taps, just wishing I could be like other kids. Playing ball, Walking your girl home from school. Having someone call you by your first name. Gee, never thought I'd feel sorry for a guy who pushed me down a well. Do you think it might help if we talk to your dad? Sorry. Wait a minute. There's only one person in the world that could get through to him. I know exactly who it is. Why, yeah. Mrs. Cleaver? Hi, Eddie. My, how the sun plays delightful tricks with your hair. Oh, thank you. May I come in? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, you'll have to excuse the mess. Good, such a slob. Mm -hmm. I wanted to drop these brownies off for Bomber. I thought he might like to take them with him. Oh, well, that's a very nice thought in theory. But he's at that age when too many sweets have an adverse effect on his complexion. You know how cruel those monks can be. <laughs> well, I'd hate to see them go to waste. Why don't you take a couple? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't recollect ever getting food poisoning at your house. <laughs> so, Bomber's off to a monastery. Well, that's quite an adventure. Mm, it'll make a man of him. And it's every boy's dream to work his way to Europe on a tramp steamer. Well, it certainly sounds like a lot of fun. But are you sure that's what's good for Bomber? Oh, he'll be just fine. Uh, they did suggest that he get his typhoid and cholera shots, but... I figured, let the kid take his chances. Hmm, this one's got more nuts in it. Eddie, don't you think sending a 13-year-old boy that far away is a little drastic? 
Every family has her rules. At your house, it's eat your veggies or there's no dessert. Here, it's my way or the highway. But there must be some other way to handle this. Sure there is. But unfortunately, society frowns on taking your children for a ride in the country, pushing them out the door like a cat. But he's not a cat. He's your son. Well, that's what Gert says, but uh, I've always had my doubts. You can't be serious. He looks just like you. With all due respect, Mrs. C, the old eyesight must be going. He not only looks like you, he acts just like you. He doesn't act like me. He doesn't look like me. He's nothing like me. Eddie, I can remember when you were 13. You were so like the bomber. Why, the two of you. I hate calling him bomber. What's his real name? Bomber. Eddie? Edward C. Haskell, Jr. I just don't understand the kid. Or maybe you understand him too well and it kind of scares you. I guess none of us like to see our children make the same mistakes that we did. We're not talking mistakes here. We're talking a genetic left turn. <laughs> through the years, a lot of boys went through my house. And some of them just needed a little bit of help to make them good. And Edward Jr.'s one of those boys. All he needs is someone to love him, to understand him, to care about him. Fine, then you take him. No. He needs you. You're his father. Oh, come on, Eddie, please. Reconsider about sending him away. I thought about it. And he's out of here. Edward Haskell, you are the most pig-headed man that ever lived. And these are the last brownies of mine that'll ever cross your lips. Brownies were too dry anyway. Uh, sir, I'm finished with my chores. Would you care to inspect these? Oh. I can see myself in these boots. Thank you, sir. I also took the liberty of re them. These pants. You can slice bread with this crease. Just military standards, sir. Uh, how are you on suits? You can call me old-fashioned, but I still prefer to hand press with a damn cloth. You know, Edward, uh, may I call you that? Certainly, sir. I've been thinking, Edward. Man, I know I got a short fuse, and maybe you do deserve another chance. You mean I can stay? Why not? As a matter of fact, uh, you take the bed until what's his name to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is where the fun happens. This is where the action is. This is Wheel of Fortune, and the major prizes are terrific. The greatest wheel around, 5.30 today. Neil Diamond's greatest hits, 1966 to 1992. The ultimate Neil Diamond collection. Sweet Caroline, she got the way. Neil Diamond's 37 greatest songs and a 48-page booklet at the incredible low price of only $29.95 double CD and $22.95 double cassette. At this price, you won't find a better Neil Diamond collection. Plus, check out the music video, Greatest Hits Live. Cowabunga, dudes! Test your skill and win your very own Turtles pinball machine. Call 0055-33129 and play pinball simulation. It's bodacious! Get the highest score and you'll win this Turtles pinball machine. Call 0055-33129 and win! Indulge yourself in the luxury of lace. The original delicately feminine perfume. Now in a beautiful new bottle. Nothing becomes a woman like lace. 
from Yardley. If you've been waiting to join the Broken Hill Mint Bullion Club, phone the Mint now. Remember, family membership is only $45, and we'll send you your free solid gold rope chain valued at $105, together with your personal club card. As a member, you can buy all your jewellery at less than half price all year round, direct from the Broken Hill Mint. As a Bullion Club member, you'll receive your parcels hand-delivered, fully insured anywhere in Australia for only $2.50. Phone now on 008 812 880 to reserve your free solid gold chain and enter your name in our Hawaii holiday competition. Phone the Mint now. Saturday, it's a special tribute to Mother. Love you, Mommy. We're celebrating Mother's Day with some of Disney's most famous mums and their children. <laughs> There's Dumbo, Bambi, Lambert the Sheepish Lion, Peter Pan and Wendy. Plus, we'll be talking with Janine, James and Sophie's mums. You're kidding! And with James cooking up something special. <laughs> Friendly, cuz. It's a Mother's Day treat this week on Saturday Disney. Next on 7, Agro's Cartoon Connection. And there's a feast of family fun tonight when Betty makes a holy decision on Hey Dad at 7.30 and Tim tries to make a hellish choice on home improvements. The laughter starts 7.30 tonight, followed by Fast Forward on 7.